Hello, Retroburn here, part 9 of our Let's Play Clockwork Empires. In this video, we are going to finish making these gabions and maybe see the this house, this middle class house being finished. And we'll also attempt to build another building, which I think would be the ceramics workshop, because I think this one will um, produce bricks in order for us to make the more advanced uh, structures in this game. So, so the problem now with this middle class house is that the beds require... Um, um, what do you call this? Rolls of cloth to make the seats and the beds. And I don't think we have any of those in our stockpile. So we have to make a building that will um, produce uh, cloth. So I think that's going to be the... Uh, search uh, the textile workshop, but I think if you're going to build this, it's going to require uh, more advanced construction materials than just plain planks. So we'll just um, go about making all these first before we go to the textile workshop. So maybe this house won't be completed in this video, but we'll see. So I'm pausing the game. We'll let our colonists do their thing. So I think one lower class house is going to tide over this colony, which is 20, uh, 25 colonists. Idle workers, 3 over 9. What are they doing? No assignment. Joyful valves. Um, let me see. I'll we'll have them... So we can't have them manually haul jobs, because if we uh, drag your mouse here, there's no prompt that shows up, so um, yeah. Uh, I'll have them chop down trees, maybe. Maybe in these. There you go. So now the idle workers have been whittled down to 2 over 9 instead of 3. Okay, beginning day 6. So yet as I've guessed they're not they're not building the the lower uh, I mean the middle class beds and the chairs because these need uh Rolls of cloth. So um, maybe we'll just begin constructing our ceramics workshop. Maybe right here. There you go. Done. Pausing. We'll make a loading bay door somewhere. Oh shit, I can't. I, so, this is one of the things that I don't like about this game. Because there are red squares here, I can't drag this loading bay door to the front of this structure. So, we'll have to make do with placing it here. And then we'll place the lower class door beside it. There you go. And then we'll build a stone ceramics kiln. Right. Oh shit, so there are red um, red squares everywhere. So our options of building this structure, uh, where to place our kiln is limited. So we're forced to make it uh, where does this go? So the red squares are making this thing impossible to place. <laughs> so we'll have to cancel that. And maybe just build a standing desk somewhere. Here. 
workbench there. And okay. So I'm hoping this building will be still be uh, a parable even with just the stone ceramics kiln in it. But we'll see. Also I see a musket being placed there so we'll change the filters for this one. Disable food and drink. Um, so I think this is a bug because I've all I've already disabled tools and weapons yet they're okay there you go what is that about <laughs> when I launched this game uh, the tools and weapons were all already disabled but still we saw a musket and a pistol lay there so I think that was a bug so we're still getting the loadout missing a soldier is missing the equipment for their loadout and I don't know what how to deal with that problem seeing that we already have a surplus of weapons right there there's a musket and a pistol but our troops are not picking it up showing military squads okay so our NCO doesn't have anything under his command so we'll just drag one of the veterans here there that you do Oh wait, what the uh, character info? Industrious doesn't have any affliction. Okay, I think it's fine there. And the ceramics workshop is being built. I wonder if you can nah. I wonder if... Whoa, what's that X? Not enough timber. So you lack the necessary logs to do the gabion. Okay, so... We'll order our colonists to chop down more trees. There you go. And because we have uh, more planks than we need, we'll just uh, disable... Just cancel that one. Oh, one of the beds got completed. Nice. Cool. So that's a mystery right there. I don't think we had the necessary components to make the beds. So yeah, we need uh, one more uh, plank and another unit of cloth to make the chair. So I think they'll be stuck just placing the planks right there, not completing that job. What? We have 6 over 9. Idle cruise. Who doesn't have... Okay. Let's enable hunting jobs for these. And... Construction. There you go. No assignment. They'll, all, they'll order more trees to be chopped down. We need more of those. Where's that dude going? Okay, the ceramic skill, I think. And what happened there? The floor just vanished. <laughs> okay, that's another bug. Hopefully the devs will take care of it soon. We still have idle recruits. Let's order them to mine. There you go. 
Okay, our wall is nearing completion. And we'll, or we'll order more gabions to be built. Maybe right here. There you go. Okay, workshop complete. What? It's an invisible workshop. Okay, so as I have as I have guessed, uh, it makes bricks and black. Uh, but this this comes as a as a surprise. It makes glass panes too. That's cool. Um, so maybe ten of these. Modules. Ah, we still can't build. Um, what's this industrial ceramics kiln? So maybe I'll have this demolished. Darn it. And hopefully somebody will destroy this building. Is this a toggle button or is it the one time thing? So that's a mystery right there. So one question is how do you get rid of red squares? Because it's kind of bothersome um, not being able to place modules where you want them to be. There should be a solution to this but I'll ask around the forums about what can be done about getting rid of uh, red squares. We still have idle workers. Okay, demolish building. So yeah, we're going to destroy that. But dudes, people are... People are... There you go. It's deconstructing the standing desk. Hopefully we'll get back the raw materials required. Struck building, mine surface nodes, chop trees. No assignment. Maybe we can build more farms. Stockpiles. 